Uh, no, we're gonna call. What just happened? What is happening? I like look at my phone for two seconds and I did not get to do that phone call. Whatever. I I don't that was really weird. Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna make this one big set. Oh, it's Sean. Hi Sean. Looks like a fetus. So, uh, this must be a little bit earlier because Jaden, or not Jaden, Blake got that call that the car was at the docks. So. Sean! Did we go back in time? Sean! <laughs> I don't think we can walk over that spot. I've been looking Sean, I found you. Long. Long time even. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Who? Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> like oh, the dad search. even had to die. Search. Search. And then. Where you already sacrificed yourself to save your son, it just didn't work. All those it's pretty bullshit. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels? All three of them, including Madison, mind? use the same phrasing. Believe father me, capable. i suffer. Just to find a father. Just as much as my victims. Mm. I finished her damn triumph. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grid. This is very disappointing, Scott. Ugh, man, Jaden has never been sexier. Oof. I'm gonna marry me an FBI agent. So this scene depends uh, a lot on no this way. Uh, what you you know your the choices that you make and whether or not people survive or not. But you can have um, any sort of combination. Like if Jaden. Uh, doesn't figure it out on his own, Madison can call him. If Ethan doesn't figure it out on his own, Madison can call him. If Jaden does figure it out, he can go alone. Madison could die. I mean, like, you can just have it in a ton of different ways. If Ethan's in jail, though, I think... I, I really don't know, actually. I know that I've had Jaden not show up before. And Madison has to take down Scott. But I think, um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many ways that this last scene can end. I don't want you to die. God, you're hearing, bro. Lay off the fucking airy.
Also, you trying to tackle guys who are bigger than you really doesn't work in your favor. In the balls. Do you guys just not do that? Is that like a cheap shot? Because I feel like I would do that all the time. I mean, I'd be a little incapacitated if somebody punched me in the boobs. I'd be like, oh. Be distracted momentarily. I know balls are not the same. But I feel... I feel like, come on, man. Whatever you gotta do to win. I haven't missed one yet. It's usually a really good way to change myself. You know Ethan! Armed and dangerous all the time. Are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll mm -hmm. gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Oh no! Hey! You there! What are you doing? <sighs> Damn it, Blake. Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars yeah. is innocent. I can prove it. Bet you can. Okay, of course. Those are just... I'm not good at those, guys. Known that from the very beginning. That wasn't the one that killed him. Breathe. Gotta breathe. Breathe. John. Okay. <sighs> this is tedious. Eh. Your kid's dead. Just don't even worry about it. Quit trying. Leave it to the professional. Don't leave me. Oh, his little teeny hand and his clothes. He's gonna grow up like ten years from now. He's gonna fucking hate you. Six years maybe. The kid's dead. Well, we tried, guys. A for effort. Crumple his head. I knew you'd come and save me. <laughs> Fuck mom. Three, whatever happens, two, I love one, any zero. Oh, okay. I, Apparently, that's dead. how that works. <laughs> I'm, I'm not dead. He just dies like right now. <laughs> and I'm not dead. <laughs> I feel like that should be an internal thought. Like his kid's already traumatized. I took the poison and I'm not dead yet. His kid's like, wait, what? Daddy, don't die. These are cops you're talking to. You I've never done this part, and if I mess up, shit. Ugh. I want to make sure that I can get in. You don't have to do this part on easy. You just crash the car, and you're fine. Get inside. Holy crap! 
This girl is insane. She's just a journalist. Shoot her. Ethan. What's going on? I wish I knew someone in Ethan so I could do that. Ethan. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. Oh uh, nope. Look, we'll all go out together with our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. Yeah, they can. Have the evidence that proves your innocence. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... This kid just laying down with his eyes open. That's Nobody cares about Sean anymore, now that he's okay. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, no. Did that really just happen? Fuck. Oh no, guys. Fuck. I can't actually kill Norma Jaden. Hold on. We're gonna see. Holy shit. That was the worst time to check my phone. Fuck. Oh no. It was like in the process of saving though. Ah, fuck. It's okay, I'll skip all this shit, guys. I mean, depending on where I have to start over from. I'm getting really... I... Fuck. I've never let somebody die before. No. What's happening? Okay, good. Get. Much better. Good to know. But if you don't pay attention right fucking there. Get up, Jaden. Oh no. Get up, though. <laughs> Just happens again. Oh, I guess if I had executed that differently, you get the chance to, like, help him. Help him up. Which we would not have done, of course. Actually, I probably would have. I'm kind of a sucker. <sighs> I like that a lot better. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know. Maybe I, I never said I was going to just let whatever happened happen. Obviously, this guy's, like, my favorite. I don't... I don't want you to die. Nice work. So, there's an instance of how fucking easy it is to die. It's probably a good thing Madison didn't go out alone because she kind of looks like a boy. That kid is traumatized as shit. This guy is totally Gabe Lewis from the office. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery. Good, so we got a good ending. Who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology.